The book is basically uh, about the institutional structures of uh, illiberal democracies from Venezuela to, to uh, Poland. And it intends to explain how uh, those in power intend to perpetuate their power. And the book argues that it plays a crucial role uh, the manipulation of, uh, of the mind. And because I'm a lawyer, I am primarily interested in how the law is manipulated, how they cheat upon law. Now, cheating is something that uh, comes perhaps from uh, playing poker. If you have a, an extra ace in your sleeves and then you present it, then you win the game. And that's basically what happens here with law and other institutions. And the difficulty is that you take snapshots of developments. As a judge, you have only a, a certain pattern of facts in front of you. So in other words, you just see the four aces in front of you and you don't see the fifth one which was smuggled into, or you had three in your hand, and then you put a fourth one in it, and then you win, right? And that shift, that movement is not shown, and that's the difficulty of catching it. So this is basically what the book is about. Descriptive, and it also has a little bit, but very little, of a moral evaluation. I don't think that there are ways to, to stop cheating, especially uh, through law, but I think it helps a lot if you are aware of that, because then you will see or will be interested in seeing whether there is a little extra movement when you, someone takes out the extra card. So it concentrates perhaps uh, interest. It makes one doubtful that the four aces that you see on the table are genuinely placed there. So I think it's, it's intended to, to make people a little bit more aware of what's going on.